Apollo 18 is a film I was quite looking forward to because I'm a little bit of a sucker for found footage movies and while we have been completely inundated with them over the past five or six years I really thought this one looked like it was doing something a little bit different. Now the plot features a, a secretive NASA mission called Apollo 18 going to the moon um, and it only comprises of three astronauts who once on the moon are terrorised by kind of an, an unseen um, enemy and I do appreciate this This film tries to do something a little bit different in that it's set back in the, uh, the 60s I believe and is entirely shot to look like real footage from the 60s space missions. I believe it's actually uh, intercut with real footage and, and everything. The types of cameras that we used were the types that we used back then. And while this is very visually interesting and unique, it does mean that a lot of what is happening on screen is obscured and the three main characters, you may struggle to distinguish one from the other once they're actually on the moon and they're in their um, space suits. You, you may struggle to tell who is who. So right away, that problem becomes apparent, and it's a shame really, because as soon as the film started, I thought, if it sticks to this style, I'm really going to kind of, of dig it. I think that's really cool that it does look genuine, but then it became apparent that this style comes with certain kind of uh, pitfalls, if you will, and the film doesn't quite recover from them. Now, the, the film itself... I think it was very fertile ground for an effective horror film. While it's not relatable because it's set on the moon, I do think that this kind of unknown world in which the astronauts are it is very fertile ground for a horror movie, as I say. And um, unfortunately, the film just doesn't live up to that potential. It doesn't have any character development, so to speak of. The, the nearest uh, character development we come to is... That uh, one of the astronauts listening to a, a recording of his son's voice and not enough time it is devoted to getting to know these people before the mission so that we actually care about them when they get up on the moon and um, there's also uh, it suffers from the cliches of the genre such as one character going a bit mental and evil which is stuff we've seen a thousand times before and, and done much better and it really also sidesteps any kind of potential tension in a scene in favour of a, a cheap jump scare and while some of them were effective, I, I'll give it credit where credit's due, some of the jump scares were quite effective but that's all they are is jump scares, there's nothing that's going to keep you awake at night, nothing that's going to chill you to the bone uh, you know, nothing that's going to make you think next time you look up at the moon that there might be people up there trapped, you know the, there's there's nothing that's going to last beyond its runtime in this movie, and I, I think that's where it really falls down. It's over reliant on jump scares. This style, while interesting, really does obscure what's happening on screen, and the actual monsters themselves really do lack any kind of bite, if you'll uh, pardon the pun. They they really don't amount to much of anything. The only thing this film really does well is right at the end there, there is a sequence that I thought was very effective um, at the end of the third act and also some text appears on screen to basically hint at what may have happened after this mission which I thought was a lot more interesting than seeing this mission. I, you know, I kind of wish we'd seen a film about the after effects. It, it probably would have been a lot more interesting. So th this film, while it has potential, it's it's original and um, quite ambitious. It, it does fail to to work as a basic horror film. It just it just didn't work for me. I, I thought it was over long. It, this style probably only would have lasted about an hour, and um, I, I just thought it was over reliant on jump scares and didn't take the time to make you care about the characters. Um, another thing it does well though is the fact that the special effects while they're on the moon you actually do believe that they're on the moon at no point did I think they were in a studio so um, that's done well but the rest of the film just fails to, to capture the imagination like it should so Apollo 18 thoroughly disappointing movie and I wouldn't really recommend it it would have worked better if it was an hour long experiment rather than a 90 minute movie so um, yeah that is uh, Apollo 18